The strike against Tesla in Sweden has now apparently moved to parts of Norway and Denmark. However, in those Nordic regions, Tesla vehicles are as popular as ever. EV sales in France, Norway, and Sweden have just been revealed, and Tesla is number one yet again. It seems as though buyers don't seem to have any qualms with whether or not Tesla enables its employees to unionize or not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. To be honest, the whole strike thing, it's fairly negative, and I'm not so keen in focusing on negative news today, not when there's so much positive news. EVs took 91% market share in Norway. 91%. That is, that's just insane. In first place was the Tesla Model Y with 1,500 deliveries. In second place, the second best selling EV was the Skoda Enyaq with 556 deliveries, meaning Tesla sold nearly three times as many Model Ys as the second best selling car in Norway. Third place, Surprisingly, was the Toyota BZ4X with 534 deliveries. I believe this is the only country in the world where the BZ4X was the third best-selling car over the last month. That's quite an achievement from Toyota. Fourth, the Hyundai Kona with 448 deliveries. Fifth was the Volkswagen ID Buzz. Next, the Ford Mustang Mach-E with 335 deliveries. That was followed by the Nissan Leaf the Xpeng G9, and the Nissan Ariya. As you can see, Tesla's way back with only 177 deliveries of the Model 3, but that's not the Model 3 Highland. Apparently, the Model 3 Highland has just begun deliveries within the past week or two, possibly, in Norway, and it's also received the Best Car Award. It's received a few awards in Norway, so we're probably going to see quite a few Tesla Model 3s. Good chance the first and second best-selling cars in Norway next month will both be Teslas. That's good for Tesla. And it's surprising considering what seems to be widespread support for um, the Swedish workers trying to unionize. Apparently the workers are saying they don't want more money. They just want um, to be part of the union. But some of them have said they don't want to be. So that's an interesting situation here. The media is really reporting on the fact that there's quite a bit of, a bit of division within the workers at the, the union here. Apparently, some of them say they want to be part of the union, some of them say they don't. Some of them say, why are you asking us our opinions? You're just printing all this stuff about us. You're not even saying, you know, asking us personally what we want to do. Anyway, speaking of Sweden and their EV sales, Tesla was the best seller. EVs took a staggering 61% market share in Sweden. And that's, that's just absolutely mind-blowing. Tesla sold 1,236 Model Ys, which was first place in Sweden for any type of car. The second best seller was the Volvo XC40, but that was a combination of plug-in hybrids and EVs with 972 deliveries. In third was the ID4, the Volkswagen ID4, with 887. That was followed by the Skoda Enyaq with 751. Next was the Audi Q4 e-tron with 513 deliveries. So a big difference here between, uh, say for example, Tesla and the best-selling BMW. The best-selling BMW was delivered to 352 homes, and that's the relatively new updated BMW i4. As you can see here, surprisingly, I thought maybe people would boycott Tesla buying Tesla EVs in Sweden, but they aren't. Uh, Tesla's selling just as well as it has been the rest of the year in Sweden. Speaking of the rest of the year, over the last three months, the Model Y has easily outsold the second best selling car in the country, which was the ID4. So over the last three months, nearly 5,000 Model Ys have been delivered versus the second best Volkswagen ID4 with 3,110. That was followed by a combination of hybrids, plug-in hybrids and fully electric XC40s, 2,784. And then the Skoda Enyaq was next with 2,200. And 67. What about France? Well, France had one of its best months ever when it comes to EV sales. The Model 3, though, was delivered en masse. The, the new Highland has been a huge hit in France. 6,100 Tesla Model 3 Highlands were delivered, meaning it was the best-selling car in France, period, of any any drivetrain type, which is quite a, quite a, a staggering result when you consider the fact that only 29 0.7%, 29.7% of all cars sold in November were fully electric. So 
What's that? Three in every 10. Essentially 30% of the market in France was fully electric. But that does mean that's a new record for France. It was France's best month ever. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, Model 3 Highland was the best seller. 6,100 deliveries. Nearly twice as many sales as the Tesla Model Y with 3,218 in second place. In third place was the Dacia Spring, the cheapest EV in Europe. 2,557 deliveries. That was followed by the MG4, 1,871. Next was the Fiat 500e with 1,762. The Renault Megane. And then as you can see, all the other cars there didn't have that many deliveries, especially not in comparison to the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y. So EV sales have reached new records. It appears very, very likely that they've broken new records in Europe in the month of November. Probably we're gonna see over the next few weeks more data coming from different European countries telling us that yes, the number of EVs sold in the month of November was a record. But then you're probably gonna hear the media saying there's big EV problems in Europe. There's something that just came out, I think yesterday, saying, oh, there's not enough charges, so people aren't buying EVs. Well, as you can see here from these numbers, that's a complete lie. The media is just making things up. EV sales are rocketing ahead. Pr to be honest, to be fair, based on statistics, primarily that is due to the sales of Tesla vehicles. Now, yes, there's a lot of other models here too, but as you can see, Tesla is clearly dominating the market in Europe. What are your thoughts here, guys? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.